Hi, it's Jim Mooney from Prominent Fluid Controls. This section of the video is to go over the calibration feature on our Gamma L pump. Uh, the calibration feature will also work on our Sigma 1, 2, 3 control version as well as our Delta series pump. To calibrate the pump, we'll have to press and hold the P key for about three seconds. We want to enter the set menu, press the P key again quickly. We scroll up or down until we see a form of the word calibrate. We press the P key once. Now we have to turn calibration feature on. Press the P key again. Now we want to be pumping from a fixed volume, a known volume amount. We want to be sure that our back pressure is set. The pump is primed. We want to be sure that if we have an auto degassing pump, that that volume is accounted for. That's not part of our volume out or volume discharged out towards our process. So now we see that the word start is flashing in the letter P in the top left hand of our display. The next time we press the P key, that means that our drawdown is gonna start. So you see that I've isolated the ball valves to be pumping from our calibration column. And I'm gonna press the P key. The pump is gonna start drawing down. It's important that we've adjusted our stroke length to about where we wanted it to be adjusted because once we've calibrated, if we change that stroke length by 10% above or 10% below, we're okay. If we exceed that, we're gonna get a warning and it's gonna tell us that if we plan to stay at this new stroke length, that we should recalibrate. Now the calibration column is usually graduated on one side in a timed event. It tells us that it's a drawdown of so many gallons per hour for a 30 second drawdown or a one minute drawdown. We want to pay attention to the true value over here, the volume amount that's being graduated in milliliters in this case. Once we draw down, the longer we let this run, the more accurate our calibration becomes. If we're off one milliliter in just a 10 milliliter drawdown, that's obviously 10%, versus 100 milliliters, if we're off by one milliliter, we're only off by 1%. So the more accurate our numbers can be, the more accurate our calibration will become. So I'm gonna stop it by pressing the P key, not the start stop button, but the P key, and then I need to measure, see how much I drew down, and convert that to gallons by dividing our milliliters by 3,785. There's 3,785 milliliters in one gallon. So I actually drew down about 100 milliliters. I started uh, about 10 ml above my zero point which equals 0 0.0264 gallons. So now you'll see on the display of my pump, my first digit is flashing. That first digit is to the left of the decimal and it matches what it needs to be. So as I press the P key, it moves one digit to the right as far as what number is flashing. Whatever number is flashing, I can adjust by hitting either the up or down arrow button and I need this to be a zero also. I press the P key to move one digit to my right. I need this digit to be a two. So I use the up or down arrow button, adjust it to two, press the P key again. I want to adjust this next digit to a four. And the last digit is back to a two. Now, if I put the wrong number in for any digit, I can go back to make the first digit flash by pressing the I key two times. It goes back to the first digit, then I just simply use the P key to go over to the one that needs to be changed again, and adjust that to whatever it needs to be. Press the P key again. After I've entered all of the digits, it asks me what unit that I've calibrated to. Here we see gallon is flashing at the top, or I can calibrate the pump in liters. Uh, we've converted the number to gallons, so I'm calibrating in gallons. I press the P key again, 
and now the pump is calibrated. So with the display, I can scroll through and show the pumping rate. At this setting, I'm pumping about 1.09 gallons per hour. So now I can pump again from my true volume amount. And if I need to adjust that, I can lower it by changing the stroke length as well as changing the speed of the pump. So now I'm right at one gallon per hour. 1.02, I can lower it a little bit further and be at right, right at 1.0 gallons per hour. And that's how we calibrate our Gamma L pump. One of the additional features is it's also totalizing the flow or the amount that we've pumped so we can keep track of chemical usage that way. And that's the calibration of our control version Gamma L pump.